Welcome everyone. So in this video, we're going to create this portal. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to crop tool and choose square and then press enter. So we created a square canvas. So now we will choose this ellipse tool and create a circle. Hold your shift key to make it a perfect circle. This size would be okay. Now with move tool, just drag it to the center. And to make uh, show that it's on center, we can select the ellipse tool and then holding your shift key, select the background uh, layer. I'm gonna say layer, not tool, background layer. And then go to this align horizontal centers and again align vertical centers so it's now at the very center of the canvas now you have this rulers if you don't have just press ctrl r it's going to show the rulers and just drag from the ruler and it'll make guideline and now from here okay drag and it has created a center okay now you can see the center so now go to the background layer and press D and then alt alt backspace to make it a black background so now what we're gonna do is go to ellipse tool and uh, uh, okay I forgot to tell you one thing when you select this ellipse tool and draw the circle make sure this is on shape not not path or pixels on it should be on shape and you have to fill this with certain color okay any color you want now having that having that uh loose layer selected just go to opacity and decrease it okay we just want to make sure that we can see the circle and now create a new layer you can just click this plus sign or press control shift and n you can uh, put name to this layer let's say a particles so now we'll go to this brush tool and we're gonna brush well, we're gonna paint some particles okay zoom in to zoom in just it's control plus to zoom out control minus okay and then uh, let's paint to do that just select brush tool and make sure you have resized this size of the brush it should be around like four pixel I think and hardness uh, about 70% it's, it's fine okay so go to brush tool and paint before that you're gonna select uh, color from this thing click here and then choose kind of yellowish color okay now like you have to paint on this edge of the circle like this if you want to draw a straight line just click here and then hold shift key and click on the other point this creates a straight line and you can decrease the size of the brush by pressing left hand side bracket okay make it a little smaller okay okay now that's fine I think let's zoom out and let's see okay that's fine now go to move tool and then you can see these points on this object we have created so you have to make sure you have checked the show transform controls 
and you can drag this pivot point if you don't see the pivot point you can you have to check this thing when you click here you'll see this thing here uh, which says uh, toggle reference point okay you have to check this point check this thing and drag this pivot point to the center of the canvas okay around here okay oh I just missed one step first you need to press uh, you need to press control J to create a duplicate layer of this object we have created and then now you have to drag the central point and drag to the center of this uh, circle okay now just click and drag it will rotate this object we have created okay I think that's that's pretty much press enter and now press control shift alt and press T keep pressing T holding shift control and alt okay we have created kind of circular thing here it already looks like a portal press enter and now what we have to do is select all the layers where we can uh, see the particles I mean the particle layers all the particle layers click on the top layer and then drag uh, scroll down not drag and all the way to the bottom and shift a uh, hold shift key and press on the first layer and then right click and then merge layers so for now we don't need these guidelines we can hide them by pressing control colon okay looks pretty good now what we can do is press control J and create duplicate and now we're gonna create about like uh, six duplicate layers so press control J six times or maybe five times two three Okay, we have six layers of two, three, four, five, oh, again, one more. Okay, six layers of this thing. So we're gonna go to the top layers, and I think for top, um, we're just gonna go to this filter and then go to blur and Gaussian blur. And we'll change this to just let's see just a little bit just one I think one or 1 1.5 is okay and click OK I go to the second layer second from top okay which is behind the top layer and here we'll again go to filter blur and then Gaussian blur we're gonna make it a little more blurry I think a bit more blurry we're gonna choose like like 20 okay then click OK Let's go to the next layer and then we'll go to what we're gonna do is again go to filter blur Gaussian blur we're just gonna make a little bit of blur here around maybe maybe four okay and okay again double click on the same layer and we'll go to color overlay and we'll change this to a kind of orange okay and hold it alt key and we'll drag this thing a little bit and it comes out okay 
and go to the next layer, the layer below the layer. Again, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and this time we're gonna have maybe six, radius six, and okay. Again, double click on the same layer, and then we're gonna go to color, color overlay, and this time a little more reddish, okay? And again, hold the Alt key and drag, Gonna show up like this. Okay, press enter. Okay, so we have another layer. Click on the another layer that is behind, and then we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian. This time we're gonna increase the radius to maybe like yeah 15 something like 15 click ok double click on the layer again go to overlay and we're gonna change this to more reddish okay maybe like this hold the alt key and drag like this and what we can do is on the same layer go to filter blur and radial blur amount would be around maybe a 14 keep this to blur method to spin and okay okay let's check yeah. Okay, looks good. Now go to the last layer of the particles and we're gonna go to filter blur and motion uh, radial blur mount around maybe maybe twenty blur method to spin and OK and now we're gonna go to part of this um, on the same layer and double click double click and color overlay choose reddish kind of color OK click OK and we can also now for this layer we, we can choose this outer glow okay and you can see the difference already um you can just decrease the size a little bit okay decrease the opacity a little bit Okay, so the color should be a reddish color, red. It also can be like yellowish, uh, but I think reddish color would be more attractive. I don't know. Yeah. Kind of reddish brown, and then click OK. Um, we can now switch. Uh, we can actually delete this ellipse layer. We don't need this. Okay. Now we can see we have created a kind of portal here. Uh, you can actually go to the second layer, second from the top, and choose mm, Outer Glow, and then you can change the color, maybe to yellow, 
and decrease the size. Okay. Mm, I think it, uh, you don't need this. You don't have to do this. I'm happy with it. You, you, all you can do is this on this second layer, second from top. You just hold the shift, uh, hold the Alt key, and just drag inside. That would be better, I think. And you can go to filter and blur, Gaussian blur, and increase its blur a little bit. Okay. And you can again go to color overlay here and change its color to a little more orange, I think. Orange thing between orange and red. Okay. So this is how we create a Doctor Strange style of portal. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.